So hey everyone, today we are on HackerRank and we have another problem and its name is Davis Staircase. It's the common staircase problem and you might have seen it many times. So let's go through the problem. Davis has a number of staircases in his house and he likes to climb each staircase one, two or three steps at a time. Being a very precocious child, he wonders how many ways there are to reach the top of staircase. Given the respective heights, each of his staircases in his house find and print the number of ways he can climb each staircase. Okay, so the problem is pretty easy. We will be given land in teacher number that will denote the height of the stairs and we can uh, take one step or two step or three steps at a time and we need to tell that in how many ways can we reach the top so this is the problem and you can look at the examples also so look at this if n is equals to 3 then he can climb it in any four ways these are the four ways 1 1 1 then first one then 2 then taking a jump of 2 then a, a jump of length 1 and the fourth way taking a jump of length 3 at once so this is the problem and there are multiple uh, there are actually two ways of doing it one is of course with the help of recursion because uh, the thing is whenever we have uh, choices to make like this that we can make a, a jump of one two or three there is always a recursion solution but we'll be doing it by the help of dynamic programming because of two reasons first one is that it has a better time complexity uh, we'll do it in o of n and the second one is because uh, i have made a similar video earlier also on dp and if you can watch that and after watching that you come on this problem you will find similar solution and you will have a grip over dynamic programming so i'll suggest you to pause the video now and go and look have a look at the house robber video i'll attach the link of the video in the description first watch that and then read the problem and if you are able to connect if you are able to think that okay it is a dynamic programming uh, it will uh, it can be solved with that approach then i must say that you are learning something so in order to test yourself go first and then we'll jump on to the solution part okay so hope you guys have tried it okay so let us now start with this problem so this is the function that we have to complete so let us start coding now if Suppose if n is 1, so there is only uh, the height of stair is only 1, so there is only one way. Okay, so we will return 1 simply by taking a jump of 1. If n equals equals 2, so if uh, the height of the stair is 2, so there are two ways. Either you can jump directly, uh, take a jump of length 2 or you can go 1 and then 2. Okay, so there are two ways. So we'll return two, and if there are three stairs, so we know there are four ways, as discussed in this example. Okay. So now, for the dynamic case, for the dynamic case, what we do, we we'll do it by dynamic programming only. Okay. So we'll declare an array. and its size will be similar to n okay that's what we do in dp we declare an array okay and then we'll it's it it will do it with bottom up processing as we did in that question only we'll use the basic test cases to obtain a solution for the higher one okay higher order one so we know that if there is only uh, if the height of staircase is one then there is only one way if there are two then two ways the 
are length of uh, stairs is three then there are four ways and after defining these basic uh, uh, these basic lengths we'll we now what we do in dp we'll simply make a formula that uh, will calculate the number of ways for nth for the dynamic one that uh, if suppose you take some n value 5 6 7 so this formula that we are going to write will calculate the number of ways in which we can reach the top okay so that's what we do in dp that's what we did in that question also oh excuse me this is two so we'll start from three and i must be less than n i plus plus and the whole question lies in here if you if you make this formula correctly then you will go through the question easily so okay so this is a formula that will do everything and at last what we return we return the last element of the array that is dp of n minus 1 and that's it this is okay and why i've written this this is for the first staircase this is for the second one this is for the third one and uh, why it is called bottom up processing because you can look uh, in here for calculating dp of uh, three we'll use the previous uh, information so this is what dynamic programming is okay we are breaking it into sub problems and then doing it we are calculating for every step and storing uh, it uh, in the array and then we simply return the last element so this is the problem and this is quite similar to the house robber one that is why i was uh, telling you again and again to watch that first and now i hope it makes sense after watching that so we'll run it Oops, okay, my bad. Okay, sample cases are done. Now we'll submit the code. And there it is, submitted. So this was the dynamic programming approach and it's a very common coding problem asked in many 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 interviews that was it see you in the next video